What is mindfulness? Mindfulness is the state of being aware or conscious of one's surroundings or aware of one's feelings, inner emotional state, and outer circumstances. Mindfulness is a type of meditation that can be used through every moment throughout the day. Mindfulness was the first tool from which I learned in which to really raise my consciousness with a simple exercise that I saw almost instantaneous results from. Being mindful, there's many different ways to be mindful. This is the first video of a series of videos that I'm doing on mindfulness. Make sure you check out the whole list. Other ones I'll go on other topics of mindfulness, but this is just a brief description of what mindfulness is. Also, another one would to describe what mindfulness is, who would use mindfulness? Well, let's see, right off the bat, a Zen Buddhist monk would use mindfulness. A Zen Buddhist monk is who taught me mindfulness. This Zen Buddhist monk's name is Tich Nhat Nahan. To him, I owe a lot. With mindfulness comes perspective. When you are mindful of children on the other side of the world not having anything to eat, you feel a little better about not being able to choose what to eat. Just that little mindful trick can really help the perspective of things. How many times a day do we drink water or actually have the option to drink water and pass it up? A lot of us, right? Yeah, for sure. So let's be mindful about water and water consumption for a moment. Let's imagine a village where children have to walk five miles to get water for their family and they're not allowed to have any on the way back because it's for their family. That is happening right now. And now it's time that we become mindful of it and change our perspective of our lives, ourselves. The only one that can consciously change our lives is us. We have to be mindful of that single fact. We have to be mindful not to put our responsibility of being mindful onto anyone else. As mindful practitioners, we are mindful that our emotions and attitudes are ourselves. And our problems with other people aren't necessarily our problems with them, but our problems with ourselves. Mindfulness will help you realize that. But without being mindful, you might easily blame someone else. Mindfulness can be used in nearly any aspect of life. I'm going to go over that in later videos, so make sure you watch this whole series of videos. Using mindfulness in your life can completely transform your experiences and bring you to a deeper states of being, understanding, and consciousness just by being mindful. A few mindful morning thoughts, positive mindful morning thoughts, 
have the potential to change your entire day. Just being mindful of certain triggers that we have to not place ourselves amongst our triggers is a great technique and practice for a mindful practitioner. Just becoming aware of our own feelings and our own inner dialogue is the main practice for a practitioner. Just becoming mindful of our state of emotion is what will set us free as far as overreacting, underreacting, and emotional instability. Because with our mindfulness, we gain consciousness. If you like this video about mindfulness, please give me a thumbs up. Please make sure to share this video wherever you can. Let's make sure that this message gets out as far as we can, as fast as it can. So I need you, everyone who's watching this video, to like it, subscribe, and share. Just to get the momentum and get these messages out there so we can make this change of this consciousness evolutionary change a lot faster, a lot smoother. And it'll be because of you. So it's all up to you. What part are you going to play in this conscious evolutionary change that we're all going through? Are you going to sit back on the sidelines? Are you going to like, share, and subscribe and become part of this movement? I invite you to join me and become part of this movement. I invite you to join me on Instagram. There I post amazing abstract social media art. It is very empowerative. You will find no slightly negative uh, memes at all. I do notice with a lot of social media stuff, it's greatly spiritual, has glitter all over in spirituality, but it robs you of your power at the end. And you will find none of that artwork on my Instagram. And being a part of my Instagram, you're also a part of 1,000 500 other individuals who are also on the same journey that you just decided to go ahead with. So go ahead, meet me on Instagram, su subscribe here now, like this video, and I will see you in the next video. You have a good one. Take it easy. Peace.